Welcome to Gravity Throttle Racing. Welcome to Gravity Throttle Racing, and my name is Aaron Tate. And this is Richard Gear. And race fans, we've been through four episodes of Clone Wars. We're about to do number five. Polo Racing comes to us from Texas, but represents Puerto Rico, driving these wonderful looking Audi Sport Quattros. Next, we have Arlo Racing, and he also is driving an Audi Sport Quattro. Arlo comes to us from Connecticut. And then finally, from the state of Iowa, Manchild Motorsports, Papa Pugsley. And he is driving the Scirocco GT24. We would like to point out that in the last episode, we made a mistake. And we called the Lancia Delta a VW Golf GTI. That's right. And, and that, that was, was Richard's fault. fault. No, it was your fault. It was your fault. No. Wait a minute. It, it was, was the, the producer's fault. fault. I feel much better clearing that up. Race fans, here we are, lane one, G4 diecast. Numskull is in lane two and Polo in lane three. G-Force is in lane four. And it's a great start. They're all over the creek looking good. Wow, what a competition, Polo. And Numskull have the lead going into their respective lanes. A little bit of overdrifting by Polo and look at G4 diecast pull out in front of Numskull. They seem to have the lead now as the other drivers are backwards coming out onto the runway. And G4 diecast stretches the lead over Numskull onto the scrambler and flips over G4 and Numskull G4 and then third Numskull in fourth and cousin Ricky for president oh my goodness and Polo Racing takes fifth race fans episode five is underway the first race is in the books let's go back to the instant replay look at how all of them are looking good except Christine and Giorgio on the outside they get tangled up in the snow and only one of the drivers is able to get out but then goes straight forward, not drifting at all. That was the end for G-Force. Look at the speed of G4 diecast. The rear driver of Polo gets stuck coming around the chicane. The first three drivers are looking so fast coming down. G4 though has had trouble on the scrambler. Lucky enough, Barrel rolls it coming through at first. Numskull barely taking second. G4 has 14 points to add. Numskull has 12. Polo Racing only adds four. We are back up at the top here, and G-Force now has the interior lane with G4 next to him. Numskull has the catbird seat, and Polo Racing is now on the outside. Off in the distance, it looks like Yoda is staring at the Numskull sign. Hmm. Let's get back to the racing, though. Looking good, all of them. Here comes G-Force, pulling in a little bit ahead, ahead, yes, of G4 diecast. And Numskull's looking good. Oh, but now he's flipping off the track, trying to get back on. Here comes Polo Racing. Oh, what a gorgeous pass by G4 Diecast over G-Force. That is a wild tongue twister. Look at that. Swirling in for first place is G4. G-Force in second. Numskull in third. G4 in fifth. Fourth. Numskull in fifth. And Polo drove by his teammate and takes six. Hmm, I wonder why he didn't push his teammate and himself through the finish line. Anyway, let's get back here and look at some great drifting. Numskull, Polo just battling it out. Look at that. And watch the rear driver of Polo. He's gonna make Ross Chaston very jealous with that wall ride. Now, as they continue down, it is G-Force in the lead as Numskull has trouble over the bridge getting off the track. But the other drivers watch push him through. Polo is itching to get out there. And now, Polo racing both drivers just Kareem skidding around and G-Force gives a batter up and knocks them on forward. Polo Racing is only going to add 7, G-Force will only add 7, 27 for G4 and 22 for Numskull. Well and that's what's going to happen race fans when both your drivers get through both times. They're going to be way up there up top. Lane 1 of the second group is Ironbeard Customs. Arlo is next to him, Maker's Box in lane 3, there on the outside is DRT 3K Racing. There's a green light, oh Arlo has a wonderful start. He's got the lead, looking good. They're bouncing around and check out DRT 3K way out there on the outside. What a gorgeous drift. He is well ahead now, as you can see. That wonderful drifting paid off. There's nobody in sight. Okay, here comes Arlo. But D 
DRT3K, the lead driver, has a wonderful, comfortable lead. Coming around, what if he's going to break the track time? And he comes through 24.176. Ironbeard Customs is second, Arlo in third. It is Maker's Box in fourth. Ironbeard Customs in fifth, and Arlo takes. Arlo will take sixth. Mm. Richard, I really thought for just a second there that DRT3K, look at this amazing drift from the outside lane coming in so smooth. The other drivers are looking great too. Look at Maker's Box, but with that kind of a drift from the outside lane, it looked like the fastest track time was in jeopardy. Watch here as Arlo is wrestling with Ironbeard Customs and the rear driver of DRT3K takes a tumble around the chicane. But it is Ironbeard that pulls ahead of Maker's Box and then Arlo s swerves out on the runway and Ironbeard Customs pulls ahead. The last lap has to go to Ironbeard Customs because he manages to overtake Arlo, the front driver down the scrambler and leads with 11 points. Ironbeard has definitely been a consistent racer through the first four episodes We've got DRT3K on the inside, then Ironbeard next to him. Arlo is in the catbird seat, and Maker's Box has the outside lane. Lights are flashing yellow. Get ready, and here we go. Race fans, it's Arlo in the lead again. Oh, something happened to Maker's Box, and Arlo has a clear lead. Here comes Ironbeard Customs down the Joker, lane first. Good drifting by Arlo, but now a little bit stuck, and the rear driver has to give him the assist. I think Ironbeard has the lead coming out, and he does. Down the runway, oh, but he skids. Look at Arlo, take the inside, the right-hand side of the path, and now pulls ahead. Around the big U he goes. Ironbeard is right behind, but a nice finish. Arlo takes first, Ironbeard in second. Ironbeard will take third, and once again, both cars finish, and here comes DRT3K with fourth. It's good when your driver can take first, but the real key here, ladies and gentlemen, is that both drivers finish. Arlo, the front driver, comes in nice, beautiful, but then hits the retaining wall too hard, and the rear driver has to give the assist. Maker's Box couldn't even make it in there. Now, this is unusual, as Ironbeard, both, both cars have trouble coming down from the Joker lane. Ironbeard Customs, though, pursues Arlo, and now, after both races, Ironbeard Customs will add 24, DRT 3K will add 13, Arlo adds 17. Let's go to halftime. Race fans, today for a halftime challenge, the men in black with a giant roach have come to try the soapbox derby. Hey, look, Richard, the producers are letting me fly the drone. Harvey, oh, Billy, hold my beer, guys. You sure you know how to control, Aaron? Oh, careful, Aaron, careful. Boy, you get, you get the hang of this? It's coming. Oh my goodness, Billy, I think he was sitting backwards. Well, he's off the track now. Let's see how the men in black do. And careful there, Aaron. I got it, Richard. Good. I'm glad you got better control of it. Look at the men in black. They're doing well. First time down. I wonder, let's see how they do on the jump. And, oh, ouch. <laughs> they kind of ditched him. Where's Billy? Is he off? There he is. Okay, so now Billy is leaning on the left-hand side. And so they don't veer off to the right. Oh, that's a good point, Aaron. Still, it's kind of stupid. Why would you hang your head out so drastically? All right, well, we're about to tell if his counterbalance really works. Oh, <laughs> oh, that was lovely. Okay, third time's a charm, and it looks like Billy finally, looks like he finally screwed his head on straight. He is sitting in between the men in black, facing forward, looking good so far. How you doing with that uh, drone there, Aaron? Richard, it's a piece of cake. Yeah, you're, you're gaining a lot of confidence. Okay, keep your eyes on him. Here he comes over the jump. Oh, not bad. It spins around. Oh, oh dear. They're going slow. I think Grogu needs to, like, speed it up. Come on, Grogu. Oh, good job, Grogu. Come on, Grogu. Speed it up. All right, here they go. Down the scrambler. Ha, 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 ha. Okay, 42.6, and Billy looks like he's ready to throw up. Good job, Men in Black. Well, race fans, uh, I hope you find the halftime mildly entertaining. Thank you for all the entries so far. Let's get back to the racing as lane one is the A-team and MCR is next to him. We've got Chase Family and on the outside is EP Video. Let's go. Good start. Look at that. And Chase has the lead. MCR, no, it's Chase. Boy, tightly packed and there goes the Canadian team on the inside. There's some mess up, mess up drifting going on and look at the Joker lane as there's quite a battle. But we've got seven of the eight cars coming around and it is Crazy Canuck in the lead. Boy, some crashing going on off of the runway and around the big U. 
Is Crazy Canuck gonna hold it? And he does. Comes in first, MCR in second, Jason third. Whoa, and too many to count. Aaron, we're gonna need your help. Well, we'll certainly sort it all out there, Richard. But let's begin with the uh, ugliest drifting I think I've ever seen. One of Chase's vehicles overdrifts, the other one just plows it in, and EP, the rear driver, decides to have a camping trip on Mesa Butte. But the lead driver is holding tight. Look at how quickly they come. Oh, we've lost another driver. I did not see that as MCR, the rear driver. And now Chase bullies his way around MCR. Here come the rest of the drivers. Six of them come down after the first race. The A team adds 13. Chase will add 10. MCR with seven and EP with three. That's an impressive finish for the A team and Chase. Let's go to race two. EP is now on the inside lane. Hoping to get more points, the A-Team is next to him. MCR is now in the Catbird seat and Chase is on the outside. Here we go. Race number two of group three is off and they all look good. Coming along nicely and MCR has the lead. The lead driver of EP has the lead on the, on the Joker lane, but here comes. Oh, there's quite a crash going on. Look at the battle going on in the Joker lane, but EP does manage to stay ahead. MCR is coming down and he's in second place now, the lead driver. We've got one, two, three, four, five, and six around the big U and it is gonna be the A team in first, Ooh. EP in second, and there is a massive pile up Ouch. on the scrambler. Well, for the rest of the drivers coming down the hill, that wasn't a very happy ending. MCR has a tough time, but check out, there's some good drifting from Chase Family Racing. Although one of the drivers does get stuck as we see there. Now watch, watch EP and watch the A-Team. Look at that battle coming down and the and EP does get ahead. Now watch the rear driver of EP heading down toward the runway. He just rolls it over and turtles it. That we don't see very often. Rogu is checking out the six drivers, but the force wasn't with four of them. After both races, the A-Team has 17 to add, EP with 10, Chase with 10, and MCR with 7. Well, and Larry's fans, if you're not familiar with the format, the Empire, Lane 1, they're not here to get points, they're here to take away. That's not very giving. Monster Motorsports in Lane 2, Mr. Dark in Lane 3, and Manchild Motorsports in Lane 4. Here we go, the final group of the day. Looking good so far as they raise, oh, and Manchild Motorsports flips over. It is... Mr. Dark coming through, pretty good drift. He get, does get turned around. The rear driver's gonna come in to help, but look at Monster Motorsports. He has the lead, coming off the Joker lane in first place. Down the runway, looking very smooth. Coming around, there are other drivers behind. He's casually spinning it around. First place for him, Mr. Dark crashes. Oh, it's a Sith Lord coming in second. And Mr. Dark will collect six points, coming in third. And... Monster finish and does take fourth with the rear driver and that is it. The Manchild Motorsports team was looking really good. They had the lead, but coming over, oh, it didn't take much. Mr. Dark even has a little bit of problems. Now coming on to the Mesa Butte drift. A little bit nose heavy, but look at the rear driver. Wonderful drifting. Now the Sith Lord is holding up the rear driver of Monster. If you saw that, and here comes the Sith Lord navigating his way up to challenge Mr. Dark. I wonder why. And Mr. Dark cuts him off quickly. Oh my goodness, the rear driver of Monster does get spun out, but kudos to him for finishing because Monster now collects 13. Dubious diecast with six more points. We're gonna go to the final race. Richard. Race fans, we wanna thank you for tuning into episode five. This is the last race. It's a critical one. Manchild is on the inside. Empire is next to him. Then we've got Monster Motorsports and Dubious Diecast on the outside. Here we go, over the jump. Ooh, ouch! It looks like three of the cars have nosed it in. We've got one Dubious Diecast racer on the outside. Monster is deciding to go in reverse. Let's see how that pans out for him as he has a nice, sizable lead. We don't see the Sith Lords. The front driver of Monster Motorsports is making his way around the big U. The rear driver is passing in and a little twirly twirl, and the rear driver comes in first, Monster in second, Dubious in third, and a Sith Lord is limping down, there's no one else. Well, if there was ever a time for a man-child, man to throw a child tantrum, it's now. The front driver ditches it, the rear driver imitates. Look at that, and now look at Dubious. He gets in on the act two as three of the drivers just ditch it over the creek jump. 
Now, Richard, check this out. Huh? What? What? Yeah, watch this. Okay. We didn't know this, but... Whoa! Mr. Dark is training to be a Jedi. <laughs> Look at that! Oh, that's a pretty good shot. Didn't kill him, but sure made him limp down. As the final race comes to a conclusion, Monster Motorsports adds a wonderful 28 points, Dubious will add 12, Manchild and the Sith Lords get a goose egg. So, as Yoda contemplates the secrets of the numbskull, let's go to the scoreboard. Before this round of racing, EP had the lead with 75. Spinning it, it looks like G4 has jumped up there with 99 points. Numbskull in second, Ironbeard Customs in third, and look at where Monster has gone, all the way up to fourth. Are you tracking? 